What's going on guys? Jblader back here again on the channel for another episode of the Dragon SMP server. Today guys, it is time to do some more terraforming. Uh, we are going to finally remove the sugarcane farm, like I said in the last time. We've, we've been working on this road here, we've been working on building for that and for that, and it's time to do some cleaning up around here. So, time to get to uh, work by tearing down stuff uh, that I don't really need anymore, and making this place look a little bit better. Alright guys, a lot of work has been done. You can probably see here, like, man, look at all this stuff going on here. So, I'm going to just make a really long clip here about what I've had time to do, um, because I've had time to play, not much time to record. So, I started putting a path in here. We've expanded the road farther this way. Of course, the sugarcane farm had to go, right? We, we just didn't need any more sugarcane. And then I expanded this road all the way uh, underneath this villager farm here, which eventually it's going to break, so it's got to go. Um, still producing items now, though, which is great. And I expanded the road all the way up here, dug out this little bit, and then I went in and stopped here. So in the future, I could... Uh, oh, there are dogs over there. In the future, I could just continue this up here, create a bridge here if I wanted to. Um, that is one option. I went ahead and finished this building, and I know, yeah, finally I finished a building. It's been like two two weeks in real life for me to finish this. And uh, I got lazy, I guess you could say, and just stone bricked the side of this thing. But honestly, I did that because uh, in real life, that's how a lot of these buildings are. They're going to have a facade around the front, and then... Um, the sides are usually pretty underwhelming, right? So that's kind of what I did. And ideally, there would be trees here and like more buildings, so you wouldn't even notice it. But that building, the trading hall building, is now done. I think it looks pretty dang nice. I like how it turned out. And then I started the aesthetical building on this building right here, which is going to be the storage building. Um, it is in a similar style as this. Of course, you got the quartz and you got the sandstone. And um, some spruce back there. And what's a little bit tricky about building something like this is that I have a lot of depth to it, right? I have, like, this is a layer, this is a layer back, and then I have two here. And it makes it look really nice, but makes the building really difficult, even with something like a Lightmatica mod um, that can help you build it or help you know where to place blocks. It still just takes time because you got to use a lot of uh, structure blocks or, like, scaffolding, I guess you could say. Um, so it still takes a long time. Let's use this jungle tree to our advantage here and climb up here so we can get a better look at it. So that's kind of what I've been working on. And I think I want to do this all the way down on this side and then around this corner. And then on the back side, I might make it a facade because I think I'm just going to have farms back there. And then on this main street will be where everything is. Um, so there's no real need to do the facade around the backs. Um, however, this is like two hours of work, what you're seeing here. So, yeah, it takes a long time. The sorting system isn't working that great because on Spigot um, that we're playing on, it helps the server run smoothly, which is really nice. But what's not nice is that it makes items clump and it makes items not really sort the way they should. So we have a lot of items in here that just really shouldn't be in here. Like, they should be sorting elsewhere in the sorter. But when I put in these items in bulk, they just don't get sorted properly because of item clumping. Um, but yeah, I mean, the sorting system beyond that is working really nicely. So guys, this is going to be the finale for this season. I might still be playing on here from time to time, but I'm going to stop recording on here. And I'm sorry to say that, but this is the main reason why. Um, Spigot has a lot of... Uh, Mob rate, mob rate issues, which some of them are being resolved. As you see here, there's there's still mobs spawning. Um, but I want to be able to build some larger scale farms. And the server, I don't think, is going to... Uh, the server's going to be able to keep up with it, but I don't think a lot of the other players on here are going to appreciate that. For example, the spawn town being in spawn chunks. If I wanted to build something like an Iron Titan, uh, that would not really uh, be appreciated as much. Uh, because they have some rules on the spawn town, and a lot of the farms I want to build, uh, maybe with item duping, or with, uh, not item duping specifically, but like TNT duping, um, are not allowed here on the server, which is completely understandable of a standard whitelist server. Uh, but I am going to continue to do a let's play, I guess you could say, or a, a Minecraft let's play, 
on a vanilla 1.14 world. This will give me a chance to really explore the 1.14 mechanics um, and keep this one in 1.13.2. And I'll be able to do basically almost anything I want on there, which will be pretty cool. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you have enjoyed the Dragon SMP, uh, make sure you check out their Discord if you're interested in joining. If you're a good builder, if you want to build this, uh, join the strong community. The, the guys on here are very friendly, very nice. They work really hard to keep the vanilla and the modded servers running very smoothly. Um, I can only say positive things about that. So if you're interested in joining, comment below and I'll make sure I, I include the uh, Discord link if you are interested in, in joining the community here on the server because there are a lot of good builders on here I never really got to show off but there are a lot of people doing similar stuff to what I was doing on here So you can hop on here and check it out yourself uh, If that's something you're interested in but until next time guys make sure you subscribe here If this is content that you enjoy seeing if you enjoy seeing the Minecraft content like this then you're in the right place Thank you so much for watching the Dragon SMP and I'll see you guys in the next one